Right, welcome back to the channel. This is an exciting day. We're doing, um, I'll do a bit of an unpackaging video first before I fit these. The quality. I'm making it as though it's like some sort of surprise. I mean, I'll leave them on top of the video with them, but in the title's gonna give it away. We have bought, fresh from China, daytime running lights and indicators built in. So let's unpackage these and see what they look like with a bit of a bit of voltage going to them. We'll connect this to a battery and just see if it works and check out the sublime quality. So we'll go for, um, that's a daylight running light and as you can see, yes, quality, right? And then we'll go on to indicators right. and as you can see, quality. So we're going to fit them because they're perfectly shaped. So we're going to fit them. So let's go and do that. Right, so initially what we're going to do is we're going to set them up for perfect fitment. Right, so I'm going to put them. I'm going to clean the paint with brake cleaner because I'm hardcore. So when I do this and when paint comes off. Yes. Right. Now to save myself the hassle because I've got like a big silly shit here. Oh, this is just the rest of the wiring on the car, which is well good. This, we're going to pull this through. We're going to feed it through like this. Look at that. The quality. Right, then that there. Right, then we're going to stick it in the place. As you can see. Mmm. So let's stick that. I'll just point out another design pitch that only comes with the highest of qualities. See the sticker back plastic and the double sided tape. Right, this, this plastic coating actually runs underneath this end piece, as you'll be seeing. Right. Look at that for quality. Hold on, there we go. Only the best, only the best will do. And then, fitment is everything. The fitment, yes. High quality product. The car, we've not wired them in yet, but this is the placement. It's just perfection. I mean, some people put them down here. I mean, just walked into someone's car. It's all right. Yeah, and um, some, some people put them down there. But you could do that, it's just the same. But I like to put them where the, where the bumper's rounded so they don't stick properly, as you can see. Quality. It's up there with the best. I mean, these are obviously going to be E-marked and everything. There's an MLT test. I'd only put certified stuff on this vehicle. Um, so we'll get, them, we'll get them wired in and get them working, shall we? Mm. Just imagine them lit up. Nice and bright white. And then coming unstuck again. Still not wired them in. Can't be bothered. I'm going to do it another time. But video's not dropping tonight now, is it? So, do it then. Right, it's uh, it's now the following day, and we're uh, we're changing the fitment because it had actually peeled off overnight. So I'm going to put it here. The plan being that the bonnet will hold it on. That's just an extra design feature. Now to look out, these are LEDs, so they only work one way around. Now, black is the negative red is for the side light and yellow is for the indicator so now we've got to suss out which one's which now without using the multimeter i've just jabbed the wires in there and the the green is actually the positive to the side light i'll double check that but i think the greens are positive to the side light and the black and white's the neutral so we're going to connect them in in just the best possible way there we have it, that is the Scotch connector. Just loved in the motor trade by everybody, because they are the best. Yes. I actually think the wire's a bit too skinny for them, but yeah, fuck it. Right, and then this one. Is the negatives this is just riveting the anticipation let's put that round there first let's put them right next to each other so there's no room should really have a knife but wouldn't be the same would it Yes. 
And then when I when I actually squash this in, it should bring the side light on. Not really enough room there, but pack it up and go for it. Yes, it's connected. We are connected. Let's do other. Right, so I've just done the same onto the yellow onto the indicator plug. Now, if you if you do care about your wiring, you do want to do a good job. Don't use these. I mean, these aren't. They're not really a proper job. Just just for the record. And that is just amazing. I mean, um, obviously at night time. It'll be even more spectacular with that Blackpool. But for now, daytime will have to do. So let's do it other side. And there we have it. Nice and white light. And it's, it's an Audi. No, it's an Audi, isn't it? I can't put my hazard lights on though, because my hazard lights don't work. Which is useful. Better get a new switch for that, aren't I? But if you want to um, bling up your C1 in a really outrageous and atrocious fashion you can do this too with just six pounds worth of lights i wouldn't i recommend it it looks pretty wanky doesn't it but i'm gonna leave it on anyway but yeah you could you could do it oh by the way on the on the other side of the car on that side the indicator positive is a purple on this side it's yellow just in case you did want to do this